So what doesn't Hob do? She's an author, producer, photographer, conservationist, nurse, throw in a comedian too. And one with a name as unique as hers, well, she has to have a unique life, right? Kathy Manena with more in Caputa Life. Okay, so I got seven things the living will not do. <laughs> Number one, do not give me pain. I do not like it. You know? <laughs> Hop Osterlin starring as Ivy Push in a one-nurse play she wrote called When Ivy Push Comes to Shove at Manoa Valley Theater had doctors and nurses rolling for 45 minutes. A supervisor come up to me and say, hey, Ivy Push, you can do a double. <laughs> oh, absolutely meant to encourage and in spirit uh, my colleagues, my beloved colleagues in nursing. Hob was a nurse for nearly 40 years at Wilcox Hospital on Kauai, where she lives, and the Queen's Medical Center, from where she retired in 2011. With this pandemic, she's taking contact tracer training now, but wanted to be on the front line. And I realized that I am suddenly the kapuna. I am suddenly in the high-risk age group and shouldn't be doing that. That was, that, was a, that was a difficult thing to accept. Hob now cares for birds, Laysan, Albatross, or Molly, because they saved her. My mother died from breast cancer when I was 10 years old. And like, like uh, all children really that age, I thought it was my fault. Um, you don't really have any other place to put it when you're that age. So she carried it for decades until she started working with Albatross in 2007 and had a miracle encounter with one, and it set her free. As she walked past, she stepped on my foot and didn't even notice me, didn't see me as fearful, didn't see me as scary. And I had this tremendous wave of relief, but I realized that what I learned from the Albatross in that moment was that I wasn't guilty of killing my mother. It's, it's, it's as literal as that. I made a commitment to serve them for the rest of my life, so that's what I'm doing. Hob volunteers caring for the albatross for private landowners, Kilauea Point National Wildlife Refuge. She wrote Holy Moly, produced the film Kalama's Journey, founded the Kauai Albatross Network, co-founded the new Kauai Wildlife Coalition, and is a fellow at the conservation group Safina Center. She insists you would love albatross too. They're kind of the quintessential Hawaiian bird in that they are master navigators. They hanai easily and they're peaceful, she says. The albatross are loyal to their mates. After months of flying, their reunion is something to behold. They run to each other and squeal and peep and nuzzle and spend the night together and and just can't, their, their, their joy is palpable if you ever doubt that animals love. And you'll find them in their perfect home, Kauai. High bluffs, no mongoose, and people who care, like Hob, having now hung up her nurse's hat. Hey, maybe we can get together again another time. Yeah? For Kukuna Life, Kathy Mulena, K2NT News.